constantly overextending yourself to be of service to other people, to a job or any situation where you give too much of yourself will drain your energy. And eventually you won't have anything left to give anymore. You might be able to refill a bit of energy now and again, but it will quickly disappear as soon as you keep on overextending yourself. Because your energy reserves will already be very low or non-existent. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Louisa and in today's episode I'm gonna talk about how important it is to not overextend yourself and give too much of your energy to others. How you need to fill up your own cup first and then you can give to others. Some of us have the belief that we're only worthy of others' attention or good things or that we're only fun to be around if you give more than we get back in return. That just standing in our own energy and just being us without overgiving won't be enough. When you constantly give more than you get back, when you pour out more from your cup than you're able to refill, your energy reserves will eventually dry up. In the long run, your energy will be so low that ordinary tasks such as cleaning, doing the dishes or cooking will sometimes feel impossible to do, since you have run out of your life force and have nothing left to give. Then you have to reevaluate how you navigate in this world and get an understanding about why you have this habit of constantly giving, never expecting or accepting to receive as much back in return. For your life to change, you have to do something differently than you have done up until this point. And if you overgive, you probably have to work on your boundaries and self-worth. Practice standing in your own energy without trying to change or fix the situation by adjusting and overextending yourself. Practice just being there in that moment, feeling your own body, your own feelings and your own presence and make an effort to not let outside circumstances drag you out of your center. Instead of making an effort to detach from your center, to be able to tune in to other people or situations around you, as you probably do unconsciously when you overextend yourself and get drained. Focus on filling up your own cup. When it's overflowing, you won't even have to make an effort to give from a cup anymore. It just flows and spreads to others automatically. And that can only start to happen when you have learned to stand strong in your power, in your center, without adjusting yourself in a self-destructive way to your surroundings. Filling your cup is partly about leaving what drains you behind. It could be a mindset, a place, people or patterns. It's about leaving what doesn't serve you and partly about doing things for yourself that you feel helps you to refill your energy. If you're in the stage where you're completely drained, filling up your cup could look like taking a time out from the world as much as possible and getting the rest you need. To be brave enough to ask for help if you have people around you who could help you to cook and clean and so on. If you can afford it, maybe you start going to massage treatments or something else that you feel can help you to relax and rejuvenate. And maybe you have to disconnect from social interactions for a while to be able to find your own center and to start to feel who you are and how it feels to be fully present in yourself. If you're not completely drained, but you feel like you could be if you continue like this, it's time to make, make those changes. Leave what drains you and find what makes you feel good. You're a most service to the world and your energy will make the most impact on situations when you're filled with life force, whole and centered in yourself. Even though you might have another mindset that tells you differently right now. Make a choice to take a first step toward leaving what drains you today. Start to fill up your cup so you can have a better and more flowing future. Thank you so much for watching. If this video has helped you in any kind of way, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.